17th of January, 1773. In the AM had hazy weather with snow showers and saw but one island of ice in the course of these 24 hours, so that we begin to think that we have gone into a clear sea. At about a quarter past 11 o'clock we crossed the Antart Antarctic Circle, for at noon we were by observation four miles and a half south of it, and are undoubtedly the first and only ship that ever crossed that line. We now saw several flocks of the brown and white pinatos, pintados, which we have named Antarctic petrels, because they seem to be natives of that region. The white petrels also appear in greater numbers than of late, and some few dark grey albatrosses are constant companions. Our constant companions, the blue petrels, have not forsaken us, but the common pintadoes have quite disappeared, as well as many other sorts which are common in lower latitudes. Monday the 18th. In the PM we had a fresh gale and fair weather. At four o'clock we discovered from the mast head 38 islands of ice extending from one bow to the other, that is from the southeast to west and soon after we did discovered field or packed ice in the same direction and had so many loose pieces about the ship that we were obliged to loof for one and bear up for another. The number increased so fast upon us that at three quarters past six, being then in the latitude of 67 degrees 15, the ice was so thick and close that we could proceed no further but were fain to tack and stand from it. From the masthead I could see nothing to the southward but ice in the whole extent from east to west south west without the least appearance of any partition this immense field was composed of different kinds of ice such as high hills or islands smaller pieces packed close together and what greenland men properly call field ice a piece of this kind of such extent that i could see no end to it lay to the south east of us it was sixteen or eighteen foot high at least and appeared of a pretty equal height i do not think it was consistent with this safety of the sloops or any ways prudent for me to persevere in going farther to the south as the summer was already half spent and it would have taken up some time to have got round this ice even supposing this to have been practicable which however is doubtful the winds continued at east and increased to a strong gale attended with the large sea hazy weather sleet and snow and obliged us to close reef our topsails